Welcome back. With the recent significant changes made to Tesla FSD beta, including the more pronounced measures to manage inattentive driving, I wanted to take my car out for another spin to measure how good or bad the wheel nag is. For those of you who aren't aware, Tesla FSD contains measures to ensure that drivers stay alert when using full self-driving beta. This is done with a steering wheel tug to make sure you're paying attention and looking at the road. Tesla, due to recent legislation, has had to increase those measures, much to the chagrin of many FSD drivers. In my last video, I noticed that the wheel nag wasn't that bad if I was keeping my eyes on the road. I wanted to take my car out for another spin in busier conditions to see if this was still the case. Today, I'm gonna to be going on a 35 minute drive and I'll speed up my camera so you don't have to sit here for that duration. I'll keep a tally of how many times the wheel nag goes off. I'll do my best to keep my eyes on the road, but may naturally take my eyes off to look at the screen. And to start off there, we had a little bit of an awkward left turn and we got our first wheel nag alert as well. Have uh, you noticed when I did that left turn, uh, the car was a little jittery there. It was a little overcautious when it saw that vehicle there on the left, something that I'm noting. This drive is not going to have too many left and right turns here. It's going to be pretty straight. So we're going to be focusing on the wheel nag notifications and see how prevalent it is in a higher traffic situation. Driving smoothly here, car passes, no issues there. FSD is keeping the vehicle in the middle of the road. All right, we've got our second wheel nag there. Vehicle's ready to turn to the right. Waiting its turn patiently and then goes. Again, I hope in version 12 that that speeds up by about half a second. Here we've got a jogger on the right. And as you noticed, FSD did a good job gradually going around. It does a very good job with pedestrians there. Nice, subtle movements out of the way. Nothing too jarring. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up to this left turn here and then what we're gonna do is speed up the camera.
some observations so far. So right now we're at 14 wheel neg alerts. What I'm noticing is that when there's more traffic on the road and you're driving at speed, it seems that FSD will alert you more often than when there's very little traffic. So when I first tested this the previous day, there were very few alerts that were happening. But what I noticed is that I was driving very early in the morning and there was less traffic on the road and that was probably the reason why. When I'm looking here and seeing a lot more vehicles, especially when it gets to high speeding congestion, not when you're slowing down, you're getting more wheel lag alerts. I'm going to continue to monitor it as the traffic lightens up near the end of this drive.
Another observation on this latest, latest version of FSD beta, I've been noticing that the wipers aren't going off as quickly as they would before. I know that it, this is a common complaint uh, with FSD users that the wipers never worked particularly well uh, while FSD was activated. A lot of the times they would just go off and it would be excessive. What I'm finding in this version right now is that my windshield is getting quite a bit of spray and the wipers are not going off so I'm having to manually trigger that. If you're noticing the same thing, please leave that below in the comments. Another observation at this time in the drive is that we're seeing a lot less wheel nag than from just a few minutes ago. This is corroborating what I saw in my previous drive that when there is low traffic on the road, you get many less alerts. This makes sense. Uh, I totally get it and I'm glad that Tesla has instituted that type of intelligence when it comes to wheel nag alerts. There you have it, 35 minutes later and 26 alerts. How did you do in your prediction? I'm not sure what I was expecting, probably a bit less based on the previous drive on 1149, but with the increase in traffic and the speed of that traffic, I should have probably expected more wheel nag. I think if the alerts were going off incessantly, including when there was no traffic, it would have seemed like overkill. While I would really prefer less alerts, the reality is that this is what Tesla is being forced to do at the moment, and in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too bad. Other observations include some performance issues with the windshield wiper, specifically that it was not activating fast enough when my car was receiving a lot of water spray. I hope they tweak that. Even though this was a pretty straight drive, it was smooth and there were no funny behaviors or quirky reactions. I really enjoyed this drive and I'm increasingly using FSD beta on city drives now because of this smoothness. I want to thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. I hope you enjoyed the drive and you're continuing to learn more about this amazing driver technology. You all drive safe now and I'll see you on the roads.